Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family channel, guys. For the newcomers, my name is Zidi. Yes, you can see it's very rainy at the moment in Phuket, so I can't walk the beach. Tomorrow again, maybe sunny, I will walk the beach. I just came from my pedal match uh, with my brother Juno playing pedal like twice or three times a week, guys. And um, in today's video, again, a video with amazing Bitcoin charts, a beautiful trading tip, some very special news that pumped Bitcoin yesterday, really cool. Uh, also, of course, a travel tip, and of course, everything else that you're used for me in these beautiful daily videos with an amazing backdrop. Yes, I'm saying amazing backdrop, because sometimes I also like nature inside of the beach. Now, let's quickly jump into the first part of the video, the charts, over here, bam. The first chart today, guys, of course, is a day chart again that I've been repeating now for the last couple of weeks. And um, yes, we bounced from that green line, just like I told you guys that we would do. Uh, we did already create a higher high. Um, I didn't expect that higher high to be that soon, guys. I thought it would take another three, four, five days to go and above that orange line. You can see that that orange line that I drew already for weeks ago is now um, being resistance, guys. So this orange line is now being the resistance that we are need to break and that level is around 28,560. When we break that, we can take it all the way above 30k again, guys. Exciting times for Bitcoin. Let's see uh, what the next fake push will be or the fake news will be that will push it a little bit further, guys. Now, let's jump into the next chart. This is the next chart, guys. I saw this beautiful chart somewhere on Twitter, Titan of Crypto. Uh, you can see every time again, one, two, three is the bottom. And then from that number three, it will take around 78 to 80 bars uh, to the halving. Again, that was the second time in 2017, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three was the bottom, 74 bars to the halving. And now again, we had the same in 22, 23. One, two, three was the bottom, 76 bars to the halving. So that's why I'm always saying Bitcoin's history is rhyming. It's not repeating, it's rhyming. It's always the same kind of amount of days until the halving, until the next all time high. I have this beautiful chart already posted at the VIP group many times. If you want to become part of the VIP group and see those charts, uh, then use the links down below to get access to that group, guys. Beautiful chart. So we see that we are going to near that halving, in my opinion, between 30 and 40K at that vertical halving line. And from there, take it off all the way into 2020 to create a beautiful new old and high above 70k guys now then we have the second chart this chart is a very important one it was also on twitter set fin uh, account um, the thing that you see here is the blue line on top that is the amount of times that the word bitcoin is searched on google and you will see the line the black line on the bottom that is the bitcoin price line now every time when the search engine google this place a lot of searches for Bitcoin. We know the top is near. Just look at it. Every time when we are near the top, 2014, that blue line is increasing. 2018, 17, 18 at top. The blue line was on the peak. 2021, 22, the tops there. The blue line was on the peak. Now, that blue line is near the bottom. Not that many people are searching for the word Bitcoin on Google. This is the moment you should be buying because the moment that not many m people are searching, that is the moment you should be buying and you should be selling when the hearth of people start to search Bitcoin and the blue line is starting to make peaks again. Very simple but cool chart. Next chart is this one, guys, the Bitcoin supply dynamics. So which assets are available like in exchanges and available means that they are quickly sellable. So they need to be on an exchange, for example. Now we can see that since 2018 top, the liquidity has been going downwards. So yes, there is less and less and less availability of Bitcoins in exchanges to quickly be sold. So that's because people get smarter. People get way smarter. Every cycle again, they, they understand that Bitcoin is an asset they need to hodl. And not to hodl on an exchange, but hodl, for example, on a hardware wallet. So everything that is hodled or held on a hardware wallet is not representative in these numbers because these are the numbers on um, hot 
liquidity, like the liquidity on exchanges, for example. And we can see, of course, that green line, which is the one-year average, that is, of course, a little bit more volatile because there's always new people in the market that don't understand what they need to do. So they, they keep selling and, uh, and, and buying on exchanges on the wrong moments. But the other ones that are longer in this game, they are decreasing the liquidity of their Bitcoins on the exchanges and they are holding more of the exchange Bitcoins in cold storages, guys. Very interesting chart. Then we have one more chart, guys, that is this one, the price on this date. We can see that yesterday the price was at 26,864. That's not yesterday, that's the four scenes, sorry for that. But the thing that I want to show you here is, um, we can see those light oranges uh, colors. So that's 2023. 2019 four years before that and 2015 four years before that is every time the first bullish candle the years after the two years after are higher prices just check in 2015 we were at 250 dollar 2016 and 17 we were much higher than at 250 dollar in 2019 we were 8300 dollar in 2020 and 21 we were much higher on that same date and now again in 2023 we were at 26,800 dollars in 2024 and 25 you will be much higher than this price very simple chart guys now that were all the charts for today like i've been telling you for a couple of days already yes we did hit that red line we did hit that green line bam and we created a higher high already on the daily time frame a little bit earlier than uh, than i expected but uh, it's very important to understand in bitcoin every time i keep repeating the mantra guys zoom out in bitcoin look at the bigger picture zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day it's very important that you dollar cost average into bitcoin as much as possible possible uh, below the 30k level guys below 30k it's all a cheap buy because we will see a new all-time high above 70k that's like doubling or tripling your capital in the next one and a half year there's no other investment opportunity that will give you that beautiful return guys and if you want to buy bitcoin today then please use the links down below sign up to buy it if you sign up to buy it today using my link you can get up to 30,000 US dollar bonus $30 for just signing up and you can join the lucky draw where you can win an iPhone 15 $500 coupons $100 coupons $10 coupons and even $1 coupons there's 100% price guarantee with that lucky draw so you're always a winner just use the link to sign up to buy it today guys now let's jump into the trading tip Bam. the trading tip for today guys Bitcoin Bitcoin is king and it will move in unexpected moments every time sometimes it's a news sometimes it's a ta but bitcoin makes very strange moves like we saw yesterday it was a 2k pump just because of fake news i will talk about that later again but that's why it's very important if you're not a trader but an investor you should dollar cost average that's the safest strategy when it comes to accumulating bitcoin buy bitcoin at different levels keep buying if it dips buy a little bit more dips and buy a little bit more goes up again buy a little bit more and then you're well positioned it for the beautiful bull run to come and then near the top we do the same again we will sell a little bit at 70k we will sell a little bit at 80k at 90k at 100k maybe 110 20 30 40 50 60 200k you keep selling and then you let the price crash again to the bear market bottom in 2026 27 and you start to buy again at different levels dollar cost average into bitcoin very important tip for you guys out there if you're an investor instead of a trader that was a trading tip for today the travel tip for today guys is a very handy one now when you travel you always have your hand luggage and you have your luggage that goes into the plane guys now what i always do i will always have a shirt and a shorts in my hand luggage why because these luggages nowadays they get lost many times you know when you arrive in the airport and then your main luggage is gone you don't have any other clothes to wear so when you have a separate set of clothes like just a simple t-shirt and a shorts maybe some underwear uh, then you at least have some fresh clothes to wear uh, after the whole flight you did in that sweaty outfit and that sweaty plane guys so yeah for me always i have like a t-shirt and a short somewhere in the hand luggage so that i'm always prepared that if my luggage is lost i have a separate set and i know that if your luggage get lost you get this budget to buy some stuff but sometimes you don't just want to go and buy stuff you just want to have your own stuff so always a good tip to have some extra clothes in your hand luggage 
faire monter. Oh, fidèle. The news for the day, guys, is of course that fake pump in Bitcoin yesterday of 2K. Now the pump was real, it was a 2K pump. But the news that led to that pump, that was fake news. And what was the news? Cointelegraph posted the news that this first spot ETF was now approved. So because of that fake news, the Bitcoin price, bam, jumped with 2K up to all above 30K, created a higher, higher on the daily time frame, just like I expected, but I didn't expect it that soon. Now that fake news, they are still researching how it happened, but again, it led to this pump. The thing that they learned about this is this. If a fake news article on Twitter can already pump Bitcoin with 2K in one minute, what do you think that the real news of an approved spot ETF will do? This will lead into an insane pump in the Bitcoin price. And we all know that it is gonna happen. When BlackRock is going to request an approval for a spot ETF, it can take a little bit, but we know that BlackRock always gets what they want. There is only one time in the whole history that a spot ETF was not approved for BlackRock. This one is definitely going to be approved. It's just a matter of time. And if it's not BlackRock, it will be Grayscale or one of all the others, guys. The important part is that you should be in Bitcoin before that real news comes out. Fake news is already pumping Bitcoin like this. Just imagine real news. There will be a massive pump in Bitcoin that can be like a pump for a couple of days because people will wake up in different time zones, keep buying, start to accumulate all those investments and start to invest. Liquidity will come to the market. So be prepared. If it was up to me, if I would have a home, I would sell my house today, sell my cars, sell everything else I would own. I would go all in at the moment because I know that the news is going to come. And when that news will come, it will pump my capital like insane heights. So why wouldn't I do it? Why would I keep my capital stuck in something or in a situation or a real estate or other assets that will not have that same pump? This is a very important moment in Bitcoin history is that when a spot ETF will be approved. That will, give act, that will give access to all the suit-wearing people that invest very securely at their banks, at their investment uh, companies, to buy Bitcoin and add Bitcoin to their portfolio. There's billions of dollars coming into the market. So you should be in Bitcoin before the real news comes out. And I think we are very close to having that real news. It will definitely happen in 2024, in my honest opinion. So you should be in before that halving. So dollar cost everything. Now every day is the best thing that you can do. That was the news for today. And that guys leads to my life tip for today. Experience is a very tough teacher. It will give you the test first and the lesson after. So it's very important that you understand the lesson that you learned from the experience that you're doing, from that test that is being given to you. That test was for example yesterday. Now you experience how Bitcoin could pump and the lesson you should learn is that you should be buying Bitcoin, not waiting for it to dump, not waiting for it to go to 12K, just dollar cost average. So the inspirational life lesson for today is that experience is a very tough teacher. It will give you the test first and afterwards the lesson. So be prepared to learn from that lesson. Which brings me to the question of one of the followers. The question was a very interesting one. I've been asked this many times, guys. So the question was, Didi, could it be that Satoshi Nakamoto, the founder of Bitcoin, is the government or the Fed or any of the other central banks worldwide? Of course, that could be. There is always a possibility that Bitcoin was created by someone else than Satoshi Nakamoto or than a group of really cool people that wanted to disrupt the financial system. It could be a government, but does it still matter is the more important question. Because if it was created by the government, they are allowing it now to become part of the complete monetary system because of spot ETFs, because of all the jobs that are being created in this beautiful blockchain Bitcoin industry, because of countries accepting it now as an official tender like El Salvador, like many other countries that will follow. Do you really think it still matters who is the founder or the creator of Bitcoin? it's still decentralized. The moment you start to mine Bitcoin and I start to mine Bitcoin and millions of our friends worldwide start to mine Bitcoin, we are in control of that blockchain. We determine what happens. 
nobody can take over that control without us giving them control. So it still is the best decentralized asset out there. And if it's created by hardcore people, Bitcoin maximalists, a group of guys that want to disrupt the monetary system, that's what I believe. Maybe it is a group of government people that created it to have all the smart people in the world that invest their capital in there and wipe them out in one time. But to wipe those people out at once, they need control on that Bitcoin blockchain. And they don't have control on the Bitcoin blockchain because the control is at the miners and the community that run those full nodes and everything. We are in control. As long as we keep it decentralized, we are in control. It doesn't matter anymore to me who is the founder or the creator. What matters to me is that Bitcoin survives and Bitcoin is changing the monetary system forever and will be creating a beautiful freedom world for my children, for my next generation. That is the only thing that matters. So I will still believe in the first angle in Bitcoin and it's like a few people together build it to disrupt the monetary system after the huge 2008-9 crisis. And, but if other world people want to believe that other story, it is possible. I'm not saying it's 100% impossible, like it's a 1% possibility that it is being created by the government. But it doesn't matter to me, guys, because I know that it is already integrated completely in the monetary system and it's not going to go to zero or nowhere. It's going to bring the complete financial world to the next level in our existence. So for me, it doesn't matter. I'm happy either way. And that was already everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Ask me another question so I can answer that question in tomorrow's video again. And I want to thank you for watching this one. And I want to remind you that if you want to buy Bitcoin, use the links down below. Use the Bybit link because that will give you the opportunity now to win 850 prizes, guys. And that's all because I want to give back to the community. It doesn't cost you anything to use the link to sign up. It will give you the ability to buy Bitcoin on the safest exchange out there, in my honest opinion. And it will give you ability to win prizes with the lucky draw. I don't want to say more about that. Uh, I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam.